But it's really been a long trip. Are we there yet? No, but we should reach Dalmu in the middle of the night, if we keep our pace and don't stop to rest. Ah, if you only knew how to use the ruby's power to its full extent, we could have avoided all this. Right, but... You can't possibly know about the Ruby of Fire. Who are you? I'm sorry for lying to you. I really like you, but I needed you to come here. An imposter! No, I simply needed to disguise myself as a helpless human girl so I'd be allowed to travel with you and guide you to this place. The Lady of Light. It is an honor to meet you. What do you want from us? We just want your star. Or, to be more specific, the gem decorating its top, the Ruby of Fire. You already tried this once and didn't succeed. What makes you think this time will be any different? Actually, I presume you speak of someone else? My lady, we are wasting precious time here. Let us purge the Northlands of this blight. The power of the Ruby of Fire is too great. And too evil for it to fall into the wrong hands. You fiends shall not obtain it as long as I live. So be it then. I was hoping to achieve something with a more civilized approach, but I guess diplomacy has become a thing of the past on this world as well. I'm truly sorry. It wasn't my intention for things to come to this. What was that? Not sure. There's something very unusual about these demons, aside from the fact that there are two fairy beings allied with them. Okay. You can now recruit undead units, however, because Zainara is not as powerful as Malkeshar, her abilities have certain restrictions. You cannot recruit vampire bats. Zainara can only control up to six units from the ghost line at a time. <laughs> okay, so no spectre spam. If you attempt to recruit an additional ghost, you will permanently lose control of a random ghost line unit and become unable to recruit but not recall more for the remainder of the scenario. Ghost line units in your recall list also count towards the limit. Alright, okay. So, Dirv and Zainara both have to survive. Have to defeat the enemy leader. Shifting allegiances. Alright, fair few villages around the place. Nice map. Uh, Loran is pretty tanky. Um, he's got he's almost Malkeshar levels of tanky, to be honest. He's got uh, nasty. He's got blade pierce and an 11-5 cold damage attack, and he's level four. And he's steadfast. That's really annoying. Okay, let's look at his resistances. Okay, very resistant to blade and impact. Well, slightly less so to pierce. Still very tough. But arcane is the damage to do to him, like other demons. I wonder if Steadfast means that your negative resistances are doubled as well. These rock golems are going to be annoying. Okay, I've got quite a lot of gold, so that's good. Yeah, Zainara is only a Dark Sorceress, and she is only level 2. Same as Durban. Okay, let's lure out this rock golem. With someone who's at least relatively resistant to impact. That would be no one. Okay. Who's got the better melee attack? You have, Durvan. You do it. Okay. Many more recruitment options now. Given that there's a lot of forest on this map, I feel like sprites will be good. But I also want thugs, because... Thugs in general are useful and they're cheap. What have you got resistance to? Um, okay, Arcane and Fire is good against you, so start with some sprites. Uh, 
Now I will go for the ghost line. And I'll go for two of you, and you're going to go across here and capture some of these villages, or try to... Is someone going to pop up down here? That would be irritating. And then we'll get a couple of thugs as well. Since I didn't do a great job of keeping my thugs alive last time round. Did all of you hear that? That's the sound of bad news. Shock spell creatures are approaching. Okay, so probably here and maybe also here we're gonna get some shock spells showing up. Bummer. Okay, so what can I do for now? I can try and deal with these rock golems. Fire is super powerful against them. But doesn't help if I miss with all four of my 70% chance to hit attacks. What a miserable turn. Okay. Well. I guess I'll have to use my ghosts on you. But you can hardly hit. The people who are good at hitting, well, I guess they missed. And the ghosts are actually pretty rubbish here. As are you. Man, okay, this is really bad. Maybe Ilinia can deal with the situation next turn. Okay, well that's good at least. That's some decent experience for Zainara. And you guys can just head south. And be out of range of this guy. You go and heal. You come up here and block. And what else do I want? If I'm fighting Shaxthal, some skeleton archers. Maybe one more ghost for good measure. My lady, I can summon up to three more spirits. Some foot pads. Another poacher. And I'll leave it there. Um, no, one, two, two poachers. Two foot pads, two foot pads, better two poachers. Foot pads are good at tying people up. Alright, Alinea, you come out and do some damage. And now we can proceed. They have arrived! Curse your eye, they have found us. Okay, so here's the big reveal. Eloran doesn't actually want to be found by these Shaxtal either, which means that <gasps> they're not on the same side. And now we've got level 3 drones. War drone and an enforcer drone. This castle not yet occupied though. Okay, good kill for Durvan, gives you a good bit of experience. Someone who's quick, you're quick, you can go north and get these villages. You can go back here.
Alright, Rodola the Dryad is quick. As is Napio in the Fire Fairy. I gain these five, and also Buok the Thug. Let's recall these level one units. So now the drone players are recruiting units and the grey player is sending his units south to fight the drones. But actually, they currently look like they're going to get battered because those these units are, um, you know, the, I think the colloquial expression is piss weak, whereas this guy is recruiting level 2 drones. and. Yeah. Hmm. Got some income? In the village. Gonna use all my money and just go for it. Actually, if I do that, I might as well recall at least you. Right, now I've got a bit more gold left 32. Could have some ruffians. And a sprite. There we go. Now a linear. You go down here. And Durvan. You can join her. And heal yourself up. You meanwhile, Zanara, will need to stay where you are. Like, can't wait till Durvin levels up. That'll make him very much handier. Trappers aren't bad, but they're a bit squishy. Okay, Grey Player is moving towards me a bit and has recruited some sprites. Demons, sprites, and elementals. Green Player doesn't show any signs of stopping recruiting. And nor does purple player just yet. 
Those was Metallic Beasts don't seem interested in us as much as they are interested in our foes. But why? Lady of Light, I'd like to call a truce. Those, these creatures are our enemies too, and we don't really want to get involved in a slaughter. Why should my side exceed? Don't you all work for Uriah? We don't! We are struggling against her! My lady, those demons can't be trusted. They must be staging a trap, posing as enemies of Uriah. I don't know. They do seem to have a few of us amongst them. I am fairly sure our kind wouldn't ally with demons without a very good reason. And what if that reason is destroying us? Your kind can't be trusted. <laughs> silly, silly, silly person. My lady? What would Galas and Anlinde have done in this situation? My lady, you must decide now. Let us cooperate with these strange demons and repel the Shaxthal incursion before they infest the countryside. We'll decide what to do about them later. This is ridiculous. My master must have overestimated your ability to command. Your master would have been destroyed if Galas and Anlinde hadn't been at the command of the Elvish troops. They gave him a chance to redeem himself. If it weren't for that, none of us would be here today discussing this. Very well. Let's do this. Okay, time to repel the Shaxthal, and uh, Lauren has to survive. He's got... Oh, the other two units who were with him have disappeared again. That's probably for the best. Don't want them to accidentally get killed. Alright, so basically I need black to fight off purple. And... I can try and fight green. Easier said than done, of course. But I can start to attract them out. In fact, I can already do so with this little one in his house. So all the action takes place in the south of the map. Interesting. I'm actually going to put you... The tracks all don't matter. They don't care what terrain they're on, so I'll put you there. These little dudes are tanky. And they can't be poisoned. Now that just seems dumb. Spectres were concerned. The purple player is absolutely 
dominating a Lauren here. Not great. Alright, Alinea, you get you to a forest. And soften up this drone for someone else to get the kill. Someone just like you. Tempting, tempting. Yeah, why not? Don't need you alive. I'm just strong and resilient, so you should be able to tank a bit. I want to send some relatively fast units the way of direct to Lauren's base, because otherwise they're just going to get obliterated. Get up here. You're fast. The one ghost, and then the other ghosts. I'm come down here. mission here, such as it is, is to get rid of the Shaxal leaders, and, and protecting Aloran is only secondary. And maybe, just maybe, Aloran will be able to do that himself. At least he's an absolute beast on his own, but uh, he won't be able to survive forever just sitting there. drone machine. Okay, so... Get a level, excellent. You folks should all be too slow to reach across the water, so unless the drone leader wants to come out and play, uh, should be able to block this off with ghosts, and we are good.
Poisoned already, so you can soften this one up a bit. And then who wants to kill? It would be good to start giving kills to ghosts, I think. So then maybe you. Good stuff. You sit in those trees and protect Alinea. You come down here. You can come down here as well, why not? Bird can't reach you, none of these units can. And some of them should die anyway. You head over towards this village. You folks get into position to defend. When Eloran gets into a fight. So green will want to clean those two up, so that could occupy green. Unfortunately purple. gold situation is still pretty ropey. Mm, even now. job. Dryads are a nice powerful unit. Uh, now, now this is a point where I need to be careful because there are quite a lot of drones around. Weakened some of them to be sure, but still. Well, that's a fire fairy, so I don't want to just lose it. This does seem fairly futile. Uh, third watch with long dark. Okay, I've only got a little bit of long dark left. And I'll just plonk you there. Uh, should you attack? Yeah, go on. Okay. You could go and run into the hills if you wanted to. That would be okay, I'd have the castle. 
from here, you come down here. Just want to try and block you. Don't think I can really do that, so take the bird's damage, whatever it decides to do. Bring you down here. Bring you around here. And keep going. Probably just should have ignored all of these units. I'm just going for a shit ton of ghosts and sprites or something. What does that signpost say? I won't find out just yet. Usual 70% defense in forests, failing to achieve anything whatsoever. Great, you or you. How much damage will you do? Okay, four times four versus six times three. Surprise, you didn't die. You did pretty well to not die. You will level if you kill anyone else, so it would be nice if I could avoid you killing my weak units here. I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. If you got, yeah, you've got leadership. Ha ha, okay. If I park a ghost next to you, it will be quite powerful. And it will distract these folks from attacking Elrond himself, hopefully. You come up here. I'm going to get into a slightly better position before I just start going YOLO. Fort Dalbloom. Very fortified. Okay, you go here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, that's fine, my, my gold income is now zero. Oh, look at this ghost go, it's just wasting everything. Oh. Down it goes. Well, my income's gonna look better after this turn. A bit of a piss take, but there are so many drones surrounding Aloran. I guess they're gonna have to go for him. Um, should I even waste my own units? I mean, like, this force is stronger than mine, so I have to be careful. I mean, some of these units are expendable, others aren't. If you were there, you'll die. Let's just form a line over here and see if the enemy decide to go for me. You stay there, gain a couple of health. <sighs> okay, over here. Terrible. See if I can get two hits with Durvan. No, not quite. Alright, someone else is going to have to get the kill. Might as well be a ghost. Well, we've got our first wraith. Excellent work. Rubbish, but all predictably so. Can you really? Uh... Okay, you're almost dead. Melania could kill it, or could grab a village. So wasteful with my money in this campaign so far. It's really dismal. Okay.
Okay, this went well. That went very well. Probably you'll die next turn, but never mind. Okay, this um, rather mismatched rescue party actually seems to be doing some work. Okay, um, does that mean Zanara is going to get killed? Possibly. Does that mean I have to restart the level? Yes. Three of them. They'd have to get very lucky, but you know, I'm not outside the realms of possibility. Still wonders what sixty percent defense means. Still try and get Durvan the kill here. Unsuccessfully. So I want this drone to be I want this guy to be on the on the front lines. Quite like you to be on the front lines as well, so I want someone weaker to try and get this kill. do. Oh, sugar. Wait, there's an amulet there? Huh, I didn't see anything on the ground there. You must be blind. Well, let's have another look at that next turn, given that you can now not move. If there is a next turn, if I survive the attack by these stupid drones. Okay, they're going for slightly easier pickings. does again. This amber amulet! It is said that wearing one of these makes your skin sturdier and harder to penetrate with conventional weapons. At the cost of becoming more vulnerable to certain kinds of magic, we should choose carefully who shall have it. Well, in that case, let's give it to Durvin in a couple of turns time. I've so badly over recruited for this mission, it's not even true.
Dump a sprite on your base. Dump a linear on your base. Maybe put a linear in the forest in front of your base. Dump you in front. Put you there. Try and use some extremely weak units to bait these purple south. We got the kill and we got our first bandit. Very nice. You need to run away. Rather poor luck there. How can you really not? I guess not. You can come here and kill this thing, though. And then hopefully, well, you'll probably get butchered next turn because you're in range of everyone. But there should be more tempting targets. We can take it from there. Ha! <laughs> Failed to kill a raccoon, did you? Oh, come on, kill him! We should be nearly there, so despite our rather dire financial situation... We should be able to get some recompense. a decent amount of damage. You come up here and get yourself killed. Uh, or should you? These runner drones, these level 1 runner drones are pretty good actually. Okay. Durban! Okay. Increases resistance to Physical damage by 15% decreases arcane resistance by 10%. Do we see that in their resistances? No, okay, okay so he already had good arcane resistance. Uh, that just means that he's going to be harder to kill in future. Which is what we want. Very much what we want. I'm going to use the, go for the strategy of using absolutely everyone to try and blast this war drone. Ok, 
Okay, this scenario shouldn't really go on much go on much longer if I kill all this stuff. Right. We've got a shadow as well as a wraith. In that case, I don't really mind if. Uh, do I mind if you want to kill yourself? Probably rather you didn't, because just in case this does go longer. Now, if Alinea can get the kill, then that's perfect. Yes! We did it! We did it together! Am I right in assuming that the village of Dal Bloom doesn't truly exist anymore? That it's just the name of an ancient stronghold from the times before the fall? That's right. We needed you to come here, away from the Alliance's troops and away from the Chaos forces. Or at least we thought they would not be roaming around these parts. It's alarming that their war beasts have come this far within the human country. May I know why you believe acquiring the Ruby of Fire will do good to your cause, whatever it is? My lady, Elorin is one of the few demon lords who refused to heed Uriah's call to war against the good people of Irdia. He came to me seeking support for his mission. Our intention was to contact you and destroy that artifact you hold. According to what Anya heard, you set foot in the Kalari stronghold once and confronted the Iron Council. You know well by now that the ruby isn't a mere piece of magic jewellery, but you may still be unaware of the full extent of its power. Long ago, a group of human sorcerers created it and killed Erdia's gatekeeper, the creature that was charged with the, cast of with the task of guarding the entrance to Inferno, that disaster and the unexplained disappearance of Inferno's very own gatekeeper on the other side eventually brought this world to Uriah's attention. The many gatekeepers were created from the ancient guardian of secrets, Uriah's sister. They were assigned to different locations to protect them from external interference, preventing anything from entering or leaving Inferno. Uriah has figured this out, and she wants the Ruby of Fire to create a path to allow her to enter and invade a world much like yours called Ethia. We do not yet know what her motives are. There may be something there which she could use against the few remaining gods who may oppose her. To that end, she is using Erdia to test her forces and breed a massive army of biomechanical creatures for use against those who will defend Ethia. Although some of us think the right being could use the power of the ruby to destroy or incapacitate Uriah, nobody wants to run the risk and unwittingly deliver the artifact to her by failing in such a suicidal mission. Hence, we want to destroy it. We really need your help. The ruby of fire, this staff, originally owned by my master, the great sorceress Nirione. It belongs to me. I have sacrificed much keeping it away from those who could threaten the future of the peoples of Erdia. Surely we can thwart Uriah's plans in a different way. We aren't the only group that has stood against her rule, but we are one of the few to survive to this day. We've seen her real power, and only the wielder of the Union could possibly stand a chance against her. If only that power hadn't fallen into her hands, following your short incursion into her territory. What do you mean? She cannot use that power, right? Not yet. What she expects to find on Ithia might be another artifact that could enable her to wield the Union. I'm not convinced destroying the ruby is the solution. What if there's an equivalent somewhere else on Erdia, or on another, on another world? That's a risk we'll have to take. As things stand right now, Uriah is more likely to obtain the ruby than any other alternative in order to accelerate our plans. The elves, the people whom I swore to protect ages ago, need me at this very moment. 
Let me use the power of the ruby once more, and then we'll make sure it will never be used again. My lord, we won't be able to convince her to do otherwise. Your tenacity is not going to notice, Lady of Light. Uriah knows you are a formidable enemy, albeit notably foolish at times. Do what you feel is right, and then come back to us as soon as you may, so we can put an end to her plans together. Anya will go with you. Her necklace will allow you to find us, no matter the distance or the time. I will go with her? Yes, I mean, if that's not a problem. We are heading towards a war zone, and we welcome the support of every man or woman who can wield a weapon, cast a spell, or tend to the injured. However, I am unsure about allowing a young girl like Anya to accompany us. You might underestimate her now, because making use of her magic before would have blown her cover. But I assure you, she is an excellent spellcaster under the right circumstances. Don't say that. It's rather embarrassing. Very well, Lord Eloran. I swear I will do my best to keep the ruby away from our enemies. Dealing with demons. <laughs> this can't end well. I would like to keep our pact a secret between us. Even if the Grand Council understood, there seems to be a fair chance they could fall and provide Uriah's henchmen with information about our plans. No one should speak of this. Understood, my lady. Understood. Well, let's continue onwards. Hopefully we won't come across any more interruptions. Okay, nice amount of turns finished early and 120 bonus gold. That should be enough to cause me to be able to do what I want to do. I did drastically over recruit there. I thought I would have to take down a Lauren who's an absolute beast. Uh, I was wrong about that. And there we go. And if we look at the achievements, we've got a few advancements. First Bandit, Shadow Wraith, Good Ghost Units, Losses, or Level 1 Recruits. So, pretty nice on the whole. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for tonight, and yeah, all the best. See you in the next video, hopefully.